Hello students, welcome to Samveda e-class learning. Today we are going to learn 6th standard social science class of civics that is citizenship. Are you ready students? Let us begin the class now. Before beginning the class, please keep a pen and a book with you and note down the important points okay, which we are covering this chapter. Okay. Let us begin the class students. I will show you a few images. Yes, your work is to compare this and tell me who can be considered as a better and a good citizen. Okay, dear students? Yes. So, you can see the picture of a two boys. So, whom do you think is a better citizen? A boy who is eating an ice cream and throwing a wrapper on the road or a boy who is putting the banana peel in a dustbin. Whom do you think students? Yes, obviously very good. So, the boy who is putting the banana peel in the dustbin is considered to be the good citizen. Okay, shall we go for the next uh, image? Yes, yes. Now, compare these two pictures and tell me who can be the better citizen. A boy who is helping a lady, old lady or a girl. So, who is standing arrogantly when an old lady has been fallen down? Whom do you think is better? Yes, I want answers from you. Yes, very good. So, a boy who is helping an old lady is better and a good citizen. Right students? Okay. Similarly, again one more picture, we will have a look on it. So, here you can see in one picture there are two boys who are friendly, but in another picture you can see the boys are fighting with each other. What do you think students? Who are considered to be the good citizen of our country? Yes? Okay. Yes, very good. The boys who are friendly with each other is considered to be the good citizen. Okay, very good. Good work. Okay. Now, I will give you an activity on this. You have to just point out who are the good citizens. Okay, students? Yes. Here is the activity and find out the good citizens among these pictures. Yes? Okay, finished? Yeah. Let me have a look onto it. Yes, see a boy who is watering a plant, a another man who is helping an another man and a lady who is giving an arm for a beggar. Yes, very good students. Okay, students, now we just had a look about good citizen. But here students, a number of question arises like who are the citizens, why are they so called, what is a nation and what is the citizenship. Okay? So, at the end of this chapter you will be getting the answers for this questions. Shall we move on to the next slide? Yes? Okay. Okay. So, before Going deep into the chapter, let us learn, let us know the competencies which are there in this chapter. At the end of this chapter, dear students, you will be able to understand the meaning and importance of citizenship and also you will be able to list out the features of citizenship and you will understand the methods of acquiring citizenship and also you will be knowing the methods of losing citizenship. Okay, students? Okay. Here, a question arises, what is a nation? Can any one of you tell me? What is a nation? Just guess it. I want answers. Come on, students, you can. Yes. Okay, I will uh, inflict a question on you. Which nation do you belong to, dear students? Yes. So, we belong to our country India, right? We are the Indians. So, here a system which enables every individual to lead a better life is called a nation. 
Okay, once again I will repeat it, a system which enables every individual to lead a better life is called a nation. Okay, so here a nation is simply a community of people who uh, share a common interest, common culture, common history, languages and many more things. Okay. In simple terms I can say a nation is nothing but a collective identity. Okay. So, it helps us to lead a better life. Okay. Yes. So, now let us look into who is a citizen. Can you tell me students who is a citizen? Yes, you are very near to it. Yes, so citizen is a responsible member of a nation. So, who is a citizen? A citizen is a responsible member of a nation. Okay, and he is also a permanent member of a nation who enjoys civil, politics, educational administrative and many more rights of a, that particular nation. At the same time, he also has certain duties to perform. So, here students, uh, being a Indian citizen, we enjoy certain rights, right? But there are certain duties that even we have to follow it. It is our responsibility render certain duties. Right students? Tell me what can be the duties of an Indian citizen? Yes, one by one. Yes, very good. A citizen should follow and obey rules laid down by our constitution. Okay. And not only that, we have to cherish and uphold the values and ideals which inspired our freedom struggle. Okay? And as a citizen of our country, it is a sole responsibility of us to protect our environment. Right students? And not only environment, but also we have to protect the rich cultural heritage. Right students? There are many more duties that as a citizen, it is our responsibility to render those duties. Shall we move to the next topic students? Yes. Now, here comes the main topic that is citizenship. What do you think students? What is citizenship? Have any idea about this? Yes. So, I will inflict you a question on this. Are you a citizen of a nation or a foreigner? Yes. Answer me. Are you a citizen of a nation or a foreigner? So, this is the common question that we come across in once in our lifetime dear students, right. Take it an example, when you are taking an admission in a school, okay, uh, when you approach to the school management, school management will provide you the prospectus with the application form, right students. So, I think you people have seen in that form particularly a column will be mentioned nationality. The word you can come across the word nationality in the form, right. So, what you have to mention there? That you are Indian, T you belong to India, right. So, you have to mention whether you are an Indian or a foreigner. It is not only in the schools, but also uh, when you travel to the other countries you will come across such question. You have to fill the form whether you are an Indian citizen or you are a foreigner. Right students? So, what it means? Yes students, what it means? Yes, it means they are asking you about your citizenship. Right students? Yes, so they are asking you so which country citizens you are. So, now let us come to the meaning of citizenship in details. Citizenship, every person who has citizenship is entitled for rights given by the nation. 
a citizen of a country enjoys the rights given by our constitution, by our nation. What are the rights dear students? Yes, so we have certain fundamental rights. Not only that, there is no provision to acquire citizenship of more than one nation at a time. Dear students, at the time we cannot obtain a citizenship of a two or more countries. So, we can be a citizen of a particular country that is our India. Okay, once again I will start with the meaning of citizenship. So, the citizenship is nothing but every person who has entitled for rights given by the nation. Okay. So, our country, our nation has given us certain fundamental rights to your students. Yes, what are the fundamental rights? Right to education, uh, right to freedom of speech, right to religion. Okay, so all uh, this, uh, we have various rights, fundamental rights. Okay, so being a citizen of our country, uh, we can enjoy this right. Okay, not only this, dear students. There is no provision to acquire citizenship of more than one nation at a time. Okay? So, at a time just we will get one citizenship of a country. Okay? So, this is the meaning of the citizenship. I think it is clear to you students. Have any doubts in this? Okay, very good. Shall we move on to the next slide? Yes. Now, let us see what is the importance of citizenship. Okay? I think you people are very curious to know why citizenship is important, right students? Citizenship is important to live a life with dignity. So, why citizenship is important? To live a life with dignity, honor and a most respectful life, right students? Yes. So, next uh, citizenship is also important to participate in the nation's administration. Okay. Why it is important? To participate in the nation's administration. So, how you can participate in the nation's administration dear students? Yes, can anyone tell me? Yes, you are very near to it. Uh, every citizen of our country who is above the 18 years of age have the right to vote. So, through voting system, you can participate in the country's administration. So, not only that, even you when you grow up, you may become uh, MLA, MP or any uh, most uh, honorable, respectful position. Yes, uh, dear students? Okay. Now, next, uh, citizenship is important to lead a better life in a country. Okay. It is also important from the perspective of nation's integrity and unity. Okay, students, it is clear to you? Shall we move on to the next topic? Okay. Now, let us look into the features of citizenship. Okay. An individual identify himself as citizen of a particular country through his citizenship obviously. So, through the citizenship you will be identified that you are a citizen of our country India right students yes. Next feature is we can enjoy all the rights given by the nation. So, as a citizen we will be enjoying all the rights given by the nation. Give me a few examples on this yes right to education, yes, then right to, yes, come on, right to freedom of speech, right to vote, so we can enjoy all the rights. Once again, shall I explain you this point? The feature of citizenship is to enjoy all the rights given by the nation. Can anyone tell me the rights? Yes. Yes, right to education, very good. Then, yes, very good, right to freedom of speech, right to travel within the country. Yes, very good. There are many more rights that as a citizen of our country, we enjoy in our 
nation. Next feature, discharge his duties fixed by the nation. Not only we have to enjoy the rights given by our nation, but also there are certain duties that we have to render as a nation of our country. Right students, can you mention few of the duties that we have to render? Yes, like respecting our national flag, national emblem, national anthem, very good. Next, respecting, protecting our cultural heritage, protecting our environment, yes, very good. We have to render certain duties as a citizen of our nation. Now, next feature, citizenship binds citizens to live in accordance with the law of land. We have to follow certain rules and regulations being in a country, right? So, we have to follow certain rules and regulations which are mentioned in our constitution. Now, citizen get power to hold positions. What this feature tells you? As I told you, when you grow up, among you students, some may become MLAs, who knows, right? MPs. Not only that, some few may become one or the other day a prime minister, even as a president also, right? So, yes, so citizens get the power to hold the positions. So, here next feature, foreigners are deprived of the political rights. This is the another important feature of our citizenship. Here globally if we speak, there are two kinds of persons. Can you tell me who are those? One is citizen of a nation, another is a foreigner. What is the difference between a citizen and a foreigner, dear students? Yes, very good. Citizens enjoy the rights, whereas foreigners are deprived of the rights. One more difference between the citizen and a foreigner? Yes. A citizen can interfere in the matters of politics, whereas a foreigner cannot interfere in the matters of the politics in our country. Right students? Yes? Very good. Let us see this. A foreigner, he is deprived of the political rights. Let us look into another important topic that is method of acquiring citizenship. Dear students, our government of India, it enacted an act in 1955. The act is nothing but the Citizenship Act of 1955. Here in this act, the government of our country has elaborated the method of acquiring and losing the citizenship, which we are going to study now in deep. Methods of acquiring citizenship. There are four methods of acquiring the citizenship. One is by birth, next is by inheritance, next is by registration and the final is by incorporation. We will look into it deeply, citizenship by birth. What it means? It is very good. Any person who takes birth in any country, he, she acquires the citizenship of that country naturally. Why we call as Indian citizen now? Because we have taken birth in our country, right? Any person who takes birth in any country, he, she acquires the citizenship of that particular country naturally. Maximum number of a population gets the citizenship right on the basis of birth. So, let us look into the another point. In India, the people who are born after January 26, 1950 has become the citizens of India. So, why students can you clarify me this? Why it is on January 26, 1950 that we are considered to be the citizen of India? Because what this particular day is known for? Can anyone tell me? Yes, this was the particular day that is January 26, 1950 that our constitution was adopted. Right students, from thereafter, those who have born in our country, they have become the citizen of India. Okay? Yes, clear with this? Yes. Now, let us move to the another method, citizenship by inheritance. So, this is the another method of acquiring the citizenship. Okay, dear students. So, what it tells? 
in this method an individual gets the citizenship on the basis of the nationality of his or her parents okay do you get this so here if a person is born okay in the outside of our country okay if a person is born in another country if his parents either a mother or his father okay belongs to india so that particular person can get the nationality of india okay so an individual who gets the citizenship on the basis of nationality of his or her parents is nothing but the inheritance okay so citizenship by inheritance now let us move to the next uh, method of acquiring the citizenship citizenship by registration so what you can see here a person who is filling the form here what it means to your students citizenship by registration what it means citizenship of any country can be taken by way of submission of a prescribed application form to the concerned office so every nation imposes certain conditions so here citizenship by registration can be gained there is a process dear students to you know register a citizenship like you have to submit a prescribed application form to the concerned office okay so through this way also a citizen can acquire the citizenship okay fine so we'll move to the next method so citizenship by incorporation okay so what it tells Uh, by incorporation of one country geographically with another the citizenship of the incorporated country can be acquired do you get students what it is telling for example if a country acquires some of the area of other neighboring countries okay so the people who are residing in a, that particular area of another country can get the citizenship of our indian country okay so they can get the citizenship of our country understood yes so now so far we studied about acquiring the citizenship but there are certain ways students where a person loses his citizenship okay so we'll go through it we call it as methods of losing citizenship now we are going to look into the methods of losing citizenship okay yes yeah. so there are three methods of losing a citizenship of our country so one is by renunciation okay second is by termination and the last one is by deprivation okay so what are this so we will have a deep look into it shall we move on yes yeah. so losing citizenship by renunciation what is this renunciation dear students how can we lose a citizenship by renunciation yes any indian citizen in the event of getting citizenship of another country can voluntarily renounce the citizenship of india by a declaration through an application form to the registration office so if a person so here you can see uh, if a person who is residing in our country here he is an indian citizen but he if he desires or if he wishes to move or shift to the another country okay take it an example of australia if an indian citizen who wants to shift to the another country so what he has to do he has to renounce he voluntarily renounce the citizenship of india so he has to apply for it in the registration office now from indian citizen he becomes a australian citizen he gets the australian citizenship okay dear students okay fine so we'll move on to the next slide that is losing citizenship by termination okay so here any citizen of india in the event of securing the citizenship of another country his citizenship of india will be cancelled legally without expecting his application form for registration 
here students if a person though he is a indian citizen if he has got the citizenship of another country his citizenship of india his indian citizenship will be terminated okay so it will be legally cancelled okay fine now next uh, losing citizenship by deprivation so what is this deprivation we'll have a look into it any individual in the event of securing the citizenship of india unlawfully or found engaged in anti national activities or insubordinate behavior before the indian constitution their citizenship can be cancelled understood students here if a person who is willing to get the citizenship of another country if he is indulged in anti national activities or illegal works okay so here he will be deprived of his citizenship he will be losing the citizenship of india okay fine so these are the methods of losing the citizenship hope you have all understood the points so now i'll give you one activity so let us see what is that activity dear students so you have to fill the missing letters okay i'll ask you a question and you people have to give the answer for it by filling the letters okay now let us see what questions is in front of you yes what do we call a responsible person in the nation okay yes be fast what do we call a responsible person in the nation okay students you are finding it difficult no problem i'll give you a clue okay now i think it will be easy for you to answer now yes be fast yes very good so a person okay what do we call a pers responsible person in a nation a responsible person in a nation is called citizen understood very good students very good okay next question one who is born in india after 26th january 1950 will become the citizen of dash can you tell me guess it yes fine i'll give a clue here also yes now it is easy for you to find out the answer very good india one who is born in india after 26 january 1950 will obviously will become the citizen of india very good students hope you have all understood this points right yes so now i'll give you a home assignment dear students your work is to write this answer so answer the following question what is a citizenship list out the features of citizenship describe the method to acquire the citizenship and the last one is mention the incidents of losing citizenship so your work is to write the answers to this question and submit to your concerned teacher thank you so much have a nice day thank you